Well, tonight we start a brand new Let's Play series, and although murder isn't the name of the game, it is certainly one of the main themes, because this is the uh, famous courtroom drama Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, which is a game I've been looking forward to playing for quite a while. Um, you can expect lots of kind of courtroom antics, um, interviewing of suspects, um, discussion of evidence, lots of terrible voice acting by me, and uh, hopefully some uh, kind of fun and puzzling um, uh, along the way. Uh, please join me for part one of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Greetings and welcome to Ace Attorney HD. Uh, Phoenix Wright, I believe, is the name of our particular lawyer. Um, and this is a courtroom drama game. Um, I haven't played it before, but it's a game I've been wanting to play for a uh, long time. Um, so thank you for choosing to join me on this particular uh journey. Um, this version is on the iPad. Um, uh, it's, it's its first time away from the its, uh, original Nintendo home. And we're playing the free version which gives us our uh, a one free mission. Um, and if we like it maybe we'll look at others in the future. First mission is called the first turnabout and although it says now playing um, I literally just loaded it up before to make sure the game was going to run properly and it has. Um, so this is going to be a blind playthrough. Um, so let's find out what's going on. <laughs> A very sinister murder weapon here. Damn it, why me? I can't get caught, not like this. I I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. Well, I think we can safely assume that this is our bad guy that must be taken down by Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Start date, August the 3rd, 9.47am, District Court, Defendant Lobby. Can this go any slower? Number two. Hooray, this is us, Phoenix. Boy, am I nervous. Right. Oh my goodness! You, you can't wear that. you can't wear that to work. <laughs> That's the worst outfit I've ever seen in a courtroom. Wow, she has a great necklace. <laughs> okay, uh, so, uh, back to the plot. Um, oh, uh, hi, hi, chief. Woo! I'm glad I made it on time. I almost forgot my clothes. I I haven't been this nervous since we did student t -t trials back back in high school. Well, it's about time you got back into the swing of things, then. Yeah, I I, I guess you're right. You know, Chief, I'm so sorry you had to come all the way down here today on my account. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder murder. Tr <laughs> <coughs> Brilliant. My first trial, and it's a murder trial. Fantastic. This isn't going to go well, is it? It says a lot about Liu and your client as well. Yes, it says tons about my client. It tells me that he's actually insane. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. Yeah, that's quite a favor, defending him uh, in court for his, for his life. A favor? Mysterious sound? Why did we get a mysterious sound there? Was that a clue? What does court record mean? What's that button in the top left? Court record. What's this then? My badge. No one would believe I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. Cindy's autopsy report. Time of death, 7.31, 4 to 5 p.m. I guess these are kind of clues. I guess we should be studying up on this. Time of death, 7.31, or yeah, 31st of the 7th, uh, 4 to 5 p.m. Cause of death, loss of blood due to blunt trauma. Very, very sad indeed. And we've got a button down here marked profiles. Mia Fay, who is my uh, naked boss and a very good defense attorney, fair enough. Uh, Cindy Stone, I knew her well before she was bludgeoned to death, the model. She lived in an apartment by herself, and her eyebrows are visible through her hairline, which I believe is a traditional kind of um, animation manga technique, but it looks pretty weird on her, has to be said. 
Larry Butts. Oh, that's an unfortunate surname. That is unfortunate surname. Mr. Butts. The defendant in this case, a likeable guy who was my friend in grade school. And we're back to Mia Fey. And there's our profiles. Okay. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. Coy look, shyly looking to one side. I want to help him out any way that I can. I, I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. Question mark, question mark. Who is this? I don't know what voice to do. I'll make up a voice. Um, it's over? My life, everything, it's all over? Nothing? Isn't that your client screaming over there? Yeah, I'm, I'm an amazing lawyer. I let him scream away. Yeah, that's him. Death, despair, oh! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. What was your first clue? I can see how you're my boss. You're a very, very intelligent young lady. And you nearly remembered your clothes. Um, yeah. Sorry. <coughs> oh my god, what's happened to your face? Someone has replaced your eyes with nebulas. That's not right. Okay, well, uh, um, Nick! Hey, hey, hey there, Larry. Dude! I'm so guilty! Tell them that I'm guilty! That, uh, no, that would be an awful, awful thing to do. How would that help your case? That would be the worst thing I could possibly do. And you have a serious sweat on. A serious sweat on. And you have extra eyeballs on your t-shirt. And where did the stars go? Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? what, what what's wrong, Larry? Oh, oh, it's all over. I, I, I'm finished. Finished! I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who? Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? It was the crazy guy with the spot on his forehead. Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. Please don't tell me that he's just deduced that the person responsible for killing the girl is the person responsible for killing the girl. That, that, that's... That's just a tautology. That's just a conclusion that goes nowhere. I think the person that killed your girlfriend killed your girlfriend. Okay, we'll go and work on that. Let's go and get a bite to eat and possibly replace your eyes with some stars. The newspapers say, It was you, mysterious sound clue. Do I do, I do court record again at this point? I don't know. Anything changed? Any more clues? Okay, maybe not. Now, why would the newspapers say it was him? Maybe that guy's got some sort of link to the newspaper, if that's a clue. Maybe. Um, anyway, my name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I became a lawyer. My first case is a fairly simple one. It's a murder. That's not, that's not simple. That's not simple. That's an awful first case. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her, my friend, Mr. Butts. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school, who has been sweating ever since. He really stunk. No one liked to hang out with him. Oh, he is actually a smelly guy. Wow, that, <laughs> that is actually true. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the Butts. I really hope that wasn't the school motto. If so, that's a terrible, terrible school. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. Oh, yeah, my girlfriend's dead. Uh, it's really, really quite unlucky that she has died. That's not, that's not terrible luck. That's that's awful. <laughs> you, don't, you don't say, oh, unlucky, mate. Your girlfriend's dead. <laughs> but I know better than anyone, he's a good guy at heart. That, and I owe him one, which is why I took the case, to clear his name. Now, why do I owe him one? Have I got some mysterious hip past myself? Am I going to end up arrested? I'm going to end up in the court at some point, aren't I? And that's just what I'm going to do, strange flash on the screen. And the screen goes mysteriously black. Star date, August the 3rd, 10 a.m. District court, court room, number 
two. Ooh, drama, mysterious bang. Well, the court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. I have been working on my beard for many days now, and it is ready for court. Wow, he is a seriously alien-looking dude. I don't know what voice to do for him. Uh, Mr. Payne, uh, you could be... You can be French, why not? Uh, the prosecution is uh, ready, your honor. The, uh, def the defense is uh, ready, your honor. My hair is awesome. I think we just need a moment of silence for the hair of Phoenix Wright. And that amazing blue suit, pink tie combination. It's like something out of the early 90s quiz show host. That is quite, quite fantastic. I love it. Ahem! That's the whole line. I have to press play, press next, because he said, ahem. Okay, I'll do so. Mr. Wright. But it ain't Mr. Wrong. This is your first trial, is it not? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, yes, Your Honor. Um, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client and my beard. Murder is a serious charge looking up to the skies. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerve. This is... I, mean, I should be in some sort of court case where it's like, oh, he stole my orange, or um, I owe him five pounds, or so. You know, that should be my first court case. Like, where's the tutorial level? The tutorial level can't be a murder case. That's crazy. Thank... Uh, thank, thank you, Your Honour. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Gulp, hands shaking, eyesight fading, sweat pouring, suit breaking, tie stained, eyebrows triangulated. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Question one. Who has the greatest beard in the universe? Please state the name of the defendant in this case. That's the test. That's the test to be a murder lawyer. Let's just think about that one more time. That's the test to be a lawyer in a murder case naming the person sitting next to you. But okay. Oh, I guess this is actually our first test. The name of the defendant. Well, Phoenix Wright is clearly... Oh, by the way, I suppose if you guys are playing at home, just just have a little look at the question there and see if you can work out the answer before I tell you. Okay. Well, Phoenix Wright is me, so I'm assuming I'm not being accused of murder at this point. Uh, Larry Butts, I think, is the defendant, and Mia Faye was the lady who had forgotten her top. So we're going to go for Larry Butts. Uh, the defendant, well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honour. Yes, correct. Very, very good. You, you passed successfully. Just keep your wits about you, and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Well, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... It's, wait, wait, it's just, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. No, no, no way, I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this side pose? You don't even know the victim's name. Shock horror. Oh, the victim, oh, of course. Oh, that's right, the wrong voice. Mm -mm. Oh, the victim. Oh, of, of course I know the victim's name. I, uh, I'm just forgot, uh, temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the defendant's name is listed in the court record. Hang on, I know the defendant's name. I looked in the court record. Her name was... Oh, crap, I forgot her name. Was it something Stone or something? Cindy Stone? Cindy, I think it was Cindy Stone. I think I know this. I don't need your strange halfway turned on bosom glare thing. But I think I know the answer to this. Just touch the court record button to check it at any time. Remember to check it often. Do it. 
do it for me, please? I'm begging you. What kind of boss are you? Strange begging me, begging me to do my job. Okay, right, I'm not, not, not going to knock it. I mean, it's not a bad way of doing it. Well, let's hear your answer. Who is the victim in this case? Okay, well, let's go back to the court record and make sure I got this one right. Uh, although I'm pretty sure I got it right. Uh, uh, yeah, so Cindy, there we are. Cindy's autopsy report. I think it was in Profiles. Mia Fey, who's still a very good attorney, begging me to do my job. And now we have Mr. Mr. Winston Payne, who is the prosecutor in this place, so he's generally bad at getting his points across. Cindy Stone, is that what I said? I think that's what I said. I was right. She was the strange eyebrow girl. I think I knew this one. Cindy Stone. I believe the victim in this case was... Cinder Block. Oh, I see what they did there. I see what they did there. Clever, clever. Well, I believe it's Cindy Stone. Um, the victim's name is a Cindy Stone. Yes, correct. Nodding to draw attention again to the beard. Now, tell me, what was the cause of death, young Padwan? She died because she was, question mark. She was hit over the head with the thinker by that artist. Hmm, who did the thinker? It wasn't Rembrandt. It was something, it was two syllables. And he did lots of other statues. I've actually seen this in the Louvre. I think I think it's in the Louvre, this is the thinker. Quite remember, it's not the only sculptor I know. Apparently, I, I don't know them because I, I can't remember it. But either way, it's, it was that guy. I think it might have began with R. Hmm. Either way, that's not that's probably not what the judge wanted to hear. So she wasn't poisoned, but unless she was forced to eat the statue. She wasn't strangled because you can't strangle someone with a statue because that's weird. So she was hit with a blunt object. And now I'm going to cough. <coughs> She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all of my questions. I see no reason why you couldn't be a major judge and lawyer in a murder trial which will decide the life of your friend. Look at the beard one more time. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Jolly well, naming three very basic pieces of evidence. Thank you, Your Honour. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Let me just sweat some more into my suit, which is now resembling more of a swimming pool, which is why it's blue. Well then, first, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honour. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck by a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that... Object was the murder weapon was the statue of the sinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Statue added to the court record. A statue in the shape of the thinker. It's rather heavy. Do you think that's a technical thing that they've then put into the court thing? The thing, you know, is it heavy? Light, heavy, mediumly heavy, rather heavy, rather uh, uh, maybe maybe uh, uh, maybe grams would have been good, stones, pounds. Right, I'm very cross with you, and I'm staring at you with a little furrow in my brow. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. I don't think that was the only thing added. Yeah, unless my badge is going to be evidence at some point. Okay, cool. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Touch the court record button to check the court record frequently. Gotcha. Thanks, love. Bang! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. Uh, the prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Belts, to the stand. He looks... He's got some serious skin problems going on. And he hasn't got any eyeballs, which is an issue. Um, Chief... Oh, that's me, sorry. Oh, well, don't show me a picture of her while I'm speaking. That's just going to confuse the whole narrative. Um, Chief, uh, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. So she's just told me to watch the trial. 
Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Oh, you, uh, it just looks like a... Uh, it, why are you smiling? You're being accused of murder. Uh, ahem. Mr. Butts, is it not true that his victim had recently dubbed you? <laughs> what was that? <coughs> hey, watch it, buddy! We were great together! We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Antony, Tom and Jerry, the Queen and Philippe! Whoa, my eyeballs have just dropped out. Um, um, didn't they all die? They did, actually, fair enough, fair enough. Tom and Jerry are still alive. I shouldn't have added them to that uh, particular list. I wasn't dubbed. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or, or, or seeing me uh, uh, ever, ever. Wow. That little twitch in the mouth there. That... <laughs> Doesn't that just look... Look like a really, really innocent guy with a little twitchy mouth. <coughs> What's it to you anyway? Uh, Mr. Betts, when you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them, another man which she slept with before the murder. What do you mean? One of them? Lies! All of it! Lies! I don't believe a word of it! I'm just going to sweat with my red cheeks and my little MTV beard. Your honor, the victim's passport. Oh, not in the evidence yet, fair enough. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport added to the court record. The victim apparently, apparently, arrived home from Paris on the 30th of the 7th, the day before the murder. Okay. Hmm. Indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but she did not have a large income. It was a, a petit bleu. It appears that she had several, uh, sorry, she shook her daddies or a uh, lip pimp. Daddies? Sugar? Uh, yes, older, older men who gave her money and she gave her the gifts. She took the money and she used it to support her hedonistic lifestyle. DUDE! We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. She was a little slut. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah. Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... Should I what? I should just should I? Wait and see what happens or stop him from answering. Well, they were all telling me to stop him from answering, so assuming that this is some kind of tutorial level, we'll stop him from answering. Bang! My client had no idea that the victim was seeing other men. And I have a cool finger. Look at my finger. There's something on the end of it. It's my fingernail. Super nail. The question is also, as well as my fingernail, that question is irrelevant to the case, but mainly if the court could look at my fingernail first, and then we'll talk about the case. But not this question, because that question isn't relevant to this case. Oh, I'm now sweating and holding my groin as if I have been kicked in the petty blue. Oof. Win. How do you say wit? Dude! Nick! What do you mean? Irrelevant! That cheating she dog! Quivery mouth, eyes, brow, spasm. Oh, you are actually insane, dude. 
<laughs> You're crazy. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna just gonna drop dead. Yeah. And when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Kabang. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? Now, tell me more about these sugar daddies that she had. And let me know if she had any friends. Well, I have recovered from being hit in my bollock, and I am now ready to continue with the case. So I would like to point out that I believe that the accused's motive is clear to everyone here with half of a brain. Yes, yes, quite. I, I, I have understood what's happening, too. Oh, boy, this is not looking very good at all. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Um, well, did you or did you not? Oh, we had a little ding. I guess that was a clue or something or just a ding. Ah, well, 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 maybe I did and maybe I did. Uh oh, he went. We're screwed. You're buggered. I should go and get a different job. Probably a hairdresser. Maybe a tailor. Or someone that sweats. What do I do? Have him answer honestly or stop him from answering? Um, I don't know. I can't stop him from answering everything. Because otherwise that would look quite of the guilty but then again I suppose the law says you don't have to incriminate yourself although that's British law I'm not really sure what country this is set in uh, um, I suppose we should probably stop him from answering if he's about to say yeah I was there and, and, and she's dead but then again if they've got evidence that puts him there and he says he's not there then that's actually uh, not. I was going to say plagiarism well, I don't mean plagiarism I mean perjury but then I suppose if you stop him from answering, he isn't lying, he's just not answering. So let's stop him from answering. I'll say, what sick? Why would you say, You don't send him a signal in a court case. Not like you hold up like a little flag for shut the hell up. Or, uh, you know, wink at him twice if you need to be quiet. I'll send him a signal across the court using ESP. I'm going to put both hands to my hair... And give him a... He actually had a piece of paper. Oh, he is actually using ESP. He is actually using ESP. Lie like a dog. A lying dog. A dog that cannot speak the truth. A dog that when they say woof, actually means meow. Hang on, that, that, hang on, that, that wasn't the option. The option wasn't make him lie. The option was don't make him speak. I've just screwed myself over. Um, we'll see. It's like this. Um, I, I don't remember. You don't remember. Well, then, we'll just have to remind you. I've got a bad feeling about this. I might have just screwed up my whole case. We have a red witness, a crimson witness, the witness de Maroon, that can prove he did, did go to the victim's department that day. Well, my eyes have just exploded out of my head of this amazing factoid that someone saw someone else. Allow me to reshape my face, but keep my beard looking exactly the same. Well, once I have recovered, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body, of course. Just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing from the scene of the crime. Mama, 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 drama, drama, bang, bang. Order. Order in the court. This is my court. I will not have anyone discussing anything other than my beard. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honour. I wonder if this will be the the real murderer, in which case it will be our job to make him crack. This is bad. 
On the day of a murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's bed. Sorry, I'm still uh, giggling at that stupid lie like a dog line. <laughs> what does that even mean? Lie like, do dogs lie? I suppose it's a different lie that like just lay on the ground. But then you're effectively telling your client to just plonk on the floor. <laughs> Were you there on the day of the trial? Ah, claps. Anyway. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's buildings. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit. Sawit? Mr. Frank Schwit. Schwit? Sawit. Sawit? I don't know how you say that. I guess it's Sawit, but I don't. I don't my guess is it isn't pronounced Sawit, because that's not really a word. So let's call him Mr. Schwit, because it's funny. Uh, please bring Mr. Frank Schwit to the stand. It's him! It's the killer! It's the killer! We need to make him break. He's a newspaper seller. He's not a newspaper seller. He's like a, a businessman. He's got a pink suit. Newspaper sellers don't wear pink suits. Anyway, uh, Mr. Sweet, you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? Well, I guess we need to decide a kind of voice for him when he's being... He's not kind of being quite so evil at the moment. But I love the shoulder movement. He can present my 80s TV show far more than the other guy can. That's amazing. Um, oh! So he's, only, he's kind of evil. Should we give him an evil voice? He's got to have evil voice. Uh, right then, okay. Um, oh, yes. Yes! Newspapers! Yes! Oh! But I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm afraid that our 30-minute time window for Ace Attorney is up. So if we want to discover the rest of this interview, I'm afraid that you'll just have to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and look out for part two. Two. Uh, this is my first time doing a let's play on this game, so if you've got any comments about the uh, terrible voice acting or whether you've enjoyed it and made it entertain and I've made it entertaining, um, then do me let me know that as well, so I know whether to kind of continue this series um, or not. But please join me next time when we discover what Mr. Sweet is going to um, share with the court. Um, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.